Hey, what is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson. Before and today, people, today we finally managed to pull off our goal here in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And it's been like two years since I last managed to pull off a 70 plus kills gameplay. Today, guys, today, my record in this gameplay, I managed to go 72 kills and 25 deaths. And what's really surprising though is that I managed to pull it off on a weapon that I barely use and on a game mode that I barely play, which is Hardpoint, and then the rifle that I'm using is called the Augur DMR. Now, I never thought it was going to be this strong to be honest, because back in the day, back in Modern Warfare 3, there was another gun called the MK11, I think it's called. I'm not sure, I don't remember pretty much about it, but. I did use that MK and it was a single shot weapon and it was strong as heck and then all of a sudden they just nerfed it and now you need like at least 5 bullets or 6 to kill a single enemy. I'm hoping this gun doesn't go through the same problem because it is a hell of a weapon. This weapon could just kill an enemy within 2 shots or 3. So it's pretty much of a quick kill and uh, the attachments that I have with the, along with the perks it just makes it an incredible gun. So I never expected this from the Augur DMR, 72 crazy kills man and to be honest honest in the beginning of this gameplay which I did cut off if you can start the video again you should be able to see that the gameplay was actually cut off by, by a minute or something and the first minute I was actually using the Spitfire and I was doing so bad with it because you know everybody just kept their distance you know the hard point that came out first in this map was actually behind the Jeep so I don't have distance and I always keep saying in my streams you know I need a distance weapon and this is pretty much it it actually worked out here pretty well in Nuketown so uh, the auger really carried me today it was an amazing freaking gameplay just keep your eyes on the gameplay and you'll see how many crazy stunts they pull off with the DMR I mean sometimes yeah I did stay a little bit stationary but still you know I got I managed to pull off like back-to-back -back kills like crazy in a single shot too I'm like how can this work with this attachments you know so it really surprised me a lot I think this is a weapon of the week I don't know but guys but it is a hell of a weapon I think you guys should try it out for those of you guys who like to keep their distance and uh, fight long-range battles this gun is for you for sure way better than the rampart and the freaking icr from long range distance so um and you'll be able to see like how many times i got all my kill streaks i think i did manage to get off my uh my chopper like at least three times or something so i did went into long kill streaks for a long time too managed to pull off back to back kills like crazy so i wonder if you guys have used this gun too if you guys have used it you know what do you think about it do you guys think you can handle this single shot weapon or is it too much for you because look at this look at this i just got back to back kills right there a triple back to back and it was just amazing man the whole game time was like what the hell am i doing here using a single shot weapon man i mean most of the time in my live streams you'll be able to see me like rush around with a spitfire or the mx9 or some other weapon that allows me to rush around but the dmr i mean come on man this is like one of the rarest times you'll be you'll be able to see me like do this you know do, do this good with a single shot weapon like this like i tell you guys it's pretty rare that i do this kind of stuff 72 kills is uh you know quite of a blessing because at least this tells me that you know you can actually pull off more crazier gameplays i think i would be able to go like at least 80 kills in a single gameplay if i had some of the kill streaks because the kill streaks that i have right now i mean it's lightning strike and a chopper and a spy plane I usually roll around with the chopper sniping, with a sniping chopper, along with the little robot that runs around with rockets. I mean, those combinations right there are pretty deadly, allowing me to get like some extra free kills, especially since the little robot walking around is pretty accurate with rockets. So, uh, with that combination, I should have gotten at least 85 kills in a single gameplay, or even close to 100. I don't know, I'm not sure, but I was pulling off crazy amount of kills back to back, and how I'm surviving and moving around. You know, it just allows me to get some some of those crazy kills in this map. So, um, tell me guys what you think about this gameplay. I'm pretty sure it's dope. I've, I've been beasting it up lately. I mean, you saw it in my live streams. I've been getting like at least 45 plus kills per gameplay on Nuketown. Oh, and by the way, it's on Nuketown. I never expected to do this good in Nuketown. I, I really hate this map. I really do. Ever since like Black Ops 1. But like, I guess, you know, it still doesn't ch change my mind. But if I pull off a crazy gameplay, I'm going to be like, okay, you know, it's the gun, not the freaking map. <laughs> so, um... So yeah, it was amazing guys. It was just totally amazing for sure, for sure. I will be releasing the best class setup for the Augur DMR tomorrow. Um, hopefully you guys use this weapon and use it to your advantage, especially in open maps. Uh, it is a strong weapon. It's a hell of a strong weapon. The problem is though, it is kind of terrible from short range combat. I mean, it's a single shot and you have a long range battle with it. I mean, you're not going to be doing a bunch of damage with this thing from close range combat. So uh, it's going to be quite difficult to pull off from close range combat. So keep your distance, go into open spaces and this gun is going to carry you along the way with single shots, man. It was just amazing. It's like a, it's like a kind of a sniper, but you know, 
it's not as strong as a sniper, but it's there, you know, it's a freaking, it's a great assault rifle, to be honest, like, overall, it's a great assault rifle, and, uh, I'll keep on using it along the way, you'll probably see it on my future live streams, for sure, in Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and you'll see me dominate with this weapon, especially from open spaces, man, because, um, I'm, like I said, like, I'm, I'm still pretty surprised, that's why I sound, like, so excited, I was like, man, you just did it on, on a rare occasion, one of the most rarest occasions that you barely even do in the Call of Duty franchise, so... That is it, guys. I'm going to talk about Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the rest of the gameplay. I'll be posting the whole damn thing. And uh, I usually don't do this, but, you know, this is going to be, like, one of those rare occasions. So it's already rare, you know? It's already rare that I use a single-shot weapon at all. And then it's already rare that I play hardpoint. So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to let the whole gameplay play. And uh, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and subscribe for more. You guys want to see more Call of Duty Black Ops 4. RCXD in your AO. Hard point identified. Two stores open. The hard point. Attack deploy beacon planted. Hard point is secure. Enemy UAV above. Request counter UAV hardpoint. Utilizing TAC deploy beacon. Friendly TAC deploy beacon offline. Strike radar detected. Hostile lightning strike incoming. Sit rep. Enemy gunship inbound. Hard point identified. Hostiles have captured the hard point. Establishing drone squad above. Deliver care package on my mark.
located. Our board is secure. We have the advantage. Assault packs down. Come get it. Net call. Hostile Hellstorm inbound. Merch, think twice before trying that again. <laughs> <laughs>